Hey everybody, last uh, attempt, don't talk to me. How about you don't talk to me on the last attempt? How about you mind your own business, okay? Speaking of which, your business right now, Golden Goblet. Episode 4. How we doing so far? You know how it goes. Usually I record all these episodes before the second video even goes up. <laughs> it's a necessary part of my workflow, especially with us having to do... Uh, well, choosing to do Doki Doki Literature Club all in one go, which should start going up pretty soon. I, I'm recording this video on Monday. It won't go up till Friday. And as of Monday, I'm already like a third of the way through the game. Eh, maybe a quarter. What do you think, Tomo? Can I get a blessing on this run? Blessed second row start. So what do we do? Well, first off, we, we wonder... As we always do, why there are people who boot up for a game and then choose not to move. I've heard every excuse in the book. It's amazing to me the excuses people will make for incompetence. Make it! <laughs> oh no, that's terrible news, brother. Um, I've heard every excuse in the book. It's lag. This ain't lag, brother. We gotta be absolutely bang on. They're choosing not to move for whatever reason. Hey, Slurpee! Maybe mind your own business! Maybe stay in your own lane. We made it. That was close, though. <laughs> okay, what do we gotta do? It's very simple. First few rounds, don't get so tilted. You don't focus, you don't take the B line, you take the high percentage plays, right? And then in the last round, do what you gotta do to survive. That's, that's all it comes down to. We're playing a high sample size game. If we could just maximize the number of shots we get at the crown. Egg scramble. I don't see myself yet. Oh, I think I do see myself. I believe I am on the yellow team. Let's call it the golden team for today. I'm on the red team. <laughs> I got an idea. You ready for this? You start and you go... What are we doing? Basically, just trying to irritate the blue team. I mean, you can chase me if you want. It's just some, not something I would necessarily recommend. Look, I got this one. Thank you for letting go of me. Look, uh, dude, Fall Guy 7345 or whatever his name is, has the absolute proper idea. Don't get invested in trying to do more than deposit a single... Go ahead, go, 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 go. I'll hold them off for you. Don't get invested in a single egg. If you can get a golden egg, though, and protect it, you're sitting pretty. You're in the clear. So red team's looking amazing. Yellow's getting bullied. Once the bullying begins... Just let me go. Thank you. Once the bullying begins, it's very hard to come back from it. Because it's very easy to just finish the job. <laughs> There it goes. And then you, guess what? Then you just needed to get hit by the hammer. Go ahead, go ahead. As long as it doesn't end up in the yellow goal, that's all I care about. As long as it doesn't end up in the yellow goal, that's all I care about. Oh, looks like I've deked you somehow. Look, half the people on our team aren't even doing anything anymore. They're just standing still because they know we got this cinched up. If you'll excuse me. Just grab you, just start irritating you. And, uh, I mean, we are in the clear, dude. We are in the clear. I'm not worried about the blue team at all. I am predominantly slash exclusively worried about making sure yellow has the worst time possible. It's the yeet play. Here we go. Yeet. Oh, baby! <laughs> One of the greatest deeks in Egg Scramble history. Use the hammer to get past somebody. All right, we're making it on to round three. That was a fun one. Big ups to my team. As soon as I saw that one fall guy just hold on to the golden egg, I knew we were okay. That's a team player. You don't always get team players in fall guys, so I appreciate it. Sometimes you get, uh, I mean, some of the people on our team were AFK. Come on, what are you doing? Free-for-all tail tag. It's a dang nightmare. <laughs> okay, most important thing. Step one, are we starting with a tail? No. 
But Fall Guy 1742 is. I don't know what's going on in there, but I got it. Hello. <laughs> I really thought I could get his tail. Oh, we're, we're toasted on that one. Yeah. I really thought I could get his tail, or get the other guy to take his tail. I thought I would did something slick there. It's all right. We got we got speed. We got a minute and a half anyway. No no rush. Yep, that makes sense. I mean that's how we won a game of Royal Tumble or whatever the heck it's called. So I'm not even gonna sweat that at all. And then just grab the boys. So if they take your tail, you take their tail. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I don't like my chances of, of this strategy working for us. Now I do. How? <laughs> Sway? Seventeen seconds. Whoa. Okay. I do appreciate you both choosing the same direction. This is hell. Good pivot. Things were looking rough there. Ladies and gentlemen, we are safe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are on to round four. How many people have lived? This one feels good. We, this is the first time we made it past here in a couple days. 13 people remain. 6v7 fall ball? I'd love a chance at some redemption. It's just, it's just ice, dude. It's just ice. I have to be honest, as much as Tiptoe is a stressful experience, I also have a pretty good track record in it. And I like that it's gonna be like seven or eight might make it. Or one. <laughs> okay, seven are gonna make it. That's gonna make, for whoever makes it to the final round, is gonna be a very gentle finals. Okay, you bump me off, that's fine. You bump me off, maybe I'll bump you off. You're actually a god. Thank God. <laughs> Whoever that wolf was, that was a legendary performance. I don't know if I would have gotten it without you. It's also the fastest round of tiptoe I've ever played in my entire life. We did almost screw it up at the end. I need to learn to gather more speed. But I was like, if I take time to gather speed, the people behind me, I'm not worried about them passing me. I'm worried about them hitting me and screwing up my vector. So like, my reasoning, I think, was relatively solid. All right, I can at least breathe a sigh of relief. We made a final round in this game. It's Hexagon. Long time, no see. Long time, no see. So I think Hexagon, I, I am notoriously stinky at. I think the solution with Hexagon, for me, is uh, fall early. Fall early. Straight up, just go. Then, screw up a lair. And then, honestly, when you get the chance, like, just bail. This is actually, like, I don't mind. I sincerely don't mind. Just trying to cut that guy off. And now, maybe, maybe out here on the purples, I find it in my heart of hearts to start doing some bounces. Sir, we're gonna cannibalize our own situation here. Look, I still, like, I, I don't mind. I sincerely don't mind. Uh, my jump button? You're not gonna believe me. I think I was, like, I had a physics issue there. That's alright. As long as you're not on the bottom level. I mean, even if you are on the bottom level, if you're there for a good reason, I think it's okay. Okay. Now, would probably say to myself, self, Sometimes, I swear to you, the jump chooses not to work. 
What do you think? I'd like to land in a patch of yellow. Where realistically, we could live our lives! I can't let this guy make it up. Boy, we're gonna cannibalize each other. Oh, I think I won! I think I won! He won! <laughs> oh! Oh! Things were getting tight there. Ladies and gentlemen, our first hexagon victory will become our second victory inside of the Golden Goblet. How exciting. All right, you want to talk about a return to, a return to form? That's a return to form right there. Let's go. Got ourselves a crown. Oh, <laughs> it was genuine, genuine disbelief when the crown descended upon me. Do I like my hexagon strategy? I have no idea. I feel like Fall Mountain, get to the top. What's our strategy? Go right at the hammers, or left at the hammers. Don't go straight at the hammers. Royal fumble? Royal tumble? Whatever it's called. What's the strategy? It's pretty simple. Grab the tail at the end and then run away. Um, hexagon? It looks like that gif of Zach Galifianakis from The Hangover, where he's playing blackjack and he's got all sorts of mathematical formulas in front of his face. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, DoorDash, out of all of the options in Fall Guys, DoorDash is the one that I think you, of, of all the round one games, you need to be the most on point in order to survive and succeed. So what do we do? This is the, to, to come in first in this game, you want to always be second. That's my hypothesis. Get over the teeth, please. Thank you. Good stuff. Or fifth. I think fifth is totally fine. Good move. Good move. We don't need to bump each other. Again. Ladies and gentlemen, we are in a, a completely acceptable game theory position here. That's fine. They hit me with the uh, uh I did my part. I bumped into one. We're going far left here. Now, you're going to get to its reigning men pretty soon. That's where things become dangerous. Just get down. That's all. All you got to do is get down here and not get rained on. Just get to the sides. You're fine. We are A-OK. -okay. Top 10 finish. Very acceptable. Again, I would love to, I mean, to do the back-to-back. -back. <laughs> it would be, it's a long way away, but it's a beautiful thing. It's a long way away, but it's a beautiful thing. It's good stuff. Just to be here is good stuff. All right. 38 qualified. Almost half the squad has been removed. Dispossessed from their chance to win. Slime climb, please. Let's go. <laughs> we do be living in a society, though. I have a route for slime climb. Remember, you can probably fall four times and not lose this game. What's the secret? By the way, you get ready to get bumped. It's just chaos. Through the chicane is pure chaos. We're going to take the long way around because it's higher percentage if you're not at the front, in my opinion. Can you stop bouncing into me, please? Thank you. Um, thank you for deflecting that over my head. The most important thing for me is just don't fall early. And you know what? We've already succeeded. We've already succeeded at not falling early. Now we have a little bit of room. And everything's going A-OK. -okay. I mean, this is a very solid trip up the mountain. Everybody waits their turn. Make it up here. Everybody's having a happy time. Now you just thread the needle. Consider the needle threaded. This part can be a little touchy. <laughs> Look, I'll admit. Greed. For sure. Hey, hey. Suica, move. Alright, here we go. 
There we go. I, I got a little greedy towards the end there. I'll accept it. Now, this is where things become very particular. I blame myself, but also, when I say I blame myself, what I mean is I blame the person who got hit and got hit in me. But it's still fun. I should really start to remember, um, and you know, whatever, we still gotta win this episode. I should really start to remember um, that in Slime Mountain, Slime Climb, you don't want to go up the right side. Because really, like, if you make a mistake, you'll get yeeted. If somebody else makes a mistake and falls down in front of you, you're going to get yeeted. You want to be on the left side, because the left side just gets knocked down a level. which And the slime takes too long to rise for that to be a concern most of the time. I'm disappointed in my slime climb performance over the course of the Golden Goblet so far. So far. But I do have a 100% hexagon win rate and a 100% royal fumble win rate, so... You take the good with the bad, I suppose. All right, we're second row. Dead center. All I ask is that you move at the start. Okay. It's it's amazing. The frequency of not moving. Pigeon? You're not really a pigeon. You're more like a toucan or a shoe bill. But either way, you deserve that, quite frankly. Now, work with me. Work with me, lads. As long as we stay together, we can make it through this first door. Alright, I mean, I, I blame myself because I deviated a little. <laughs> squeeze it! Squeeze it! They've gone, the flat screens are almost sold out, guys! Where are you going to watch the football game on Thanksgiving Day if they run out of flat screens? Yo, that guy cushioned my blow. Okay, okay. Good work. Hey, have you just have you thought about not getting hit and thus impeding everyone else behind you? Oh my god. You walked down the hill? Oh! The, the man walked down the hill. I made it. But he walked down the hill to screw over the other people. That man should have his driver's license taken away. Some people might say that that's a little too far. The kind of person who deals not in joy but in spite, they don't deserve to pilot a one-ton vehicle at 80 kilometers an hour on public roads. That's the kind of person who, if you honk at them, they'll brake check you. They would rather get whiplash to break your arm than just go about their day. That's insanity. That, that you would try a maneuver like that on me. To be an architect of misery does not make you a special person. It just makes you a little wah wah baby. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Just move it up. Just move it in, boys. That's fine. That's fine. Keep 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 the keep the supply chain moving here. I'm gonna be honest. We probably want to bully Red, but uh, I'm okay with this as well. If you'll excuse me. We'll be making our way out here. Um. I've lost my egg, but that's okay. Because we picked up another egg. I see an egg in there. Yoink. Okay, you know what? Go ahead, Blue. And by go ahead, I mean I'm just going to probably try to take it from me again in a second anyway. This is a tight game. And a tight game is a scary game. I've realized, by the way, I think the best way to play defense is actually incredibly simple. Go ahead. Go ahead. I've already taken it out of your nest. The best way to play defense is incredibly simple. If you just stand here and push people, it will be very hard for them to take the nest out, or to take the egg out of the nest. Now, I don't think we're doing a fantastic job, but I'm, I'm doing what I can, I'm doing what I'm able. Uh, I think I'm gonna go bully blue some more, unless I can, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I, I, we got an egg, we got an egg. Grabbing an egg is better than stealing an egg, because it'll normally take way less time. In my opinion, as long as the egg's close. Stealing is a bit of a higher order operation, because of the fact that you got to also get it out of the nest. Which can be a little touchy. Hello. Hello, Red. You're really just trying to walk into people's way, huh? That's interesting. I see that we're trying to get bullied here, or they're trying to bully us, so what we will do is... Just put up heavy blockers on the staircases. Good stuff, good stuff, great work. Heavy blockers on the staircase. Nope. 
Nope, you will not be leaving with that. We will be depositing that back in the nest. That's being a team player. That's being a team player right there. Good job, butter team. Great work. That was not an easy win. We got assailed. We were having a lot of bullies in our nest, and you know what? We put up a good defensive game to keep it going. Hit him with the shoulder roll. Tepto. God, I love Tepto. I wish we could play it on your deck. Okay. What are we doing, Tiptoe? We want somebody else to be the leader. <laughs> we want to come in right after them. We want to be the second in command on Rainbow Six, okay? We want Ding Chavez to open, flash, and clear, and then we just come in and go, got him. That's our job. Great work. Okay, I gotta admit, left side is, is scaring me. Left side's making a lot of progress. Gonna be going to the right on this one. You sons of guns! You sons of guns, you bumped me! Ladies and gentlemen, we were so close. That was a good episode, though. We picked up a dub. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you like watching Fall Guys wins. I'll see you next time. See ya! GoldenGobble.net